Honors third grade class and I'm going to talk about our debate unit that we had in school. The first part of our debate unit was picking a topic and making charts of pros and cons for that topic. A pro is something good about the topic and a con is something bad about the topic. For instance, one of our class topics was should kids be allowed to chew gum in school? And one of our pros was Gum can help you concentrate, but a con was that you could get cavities if you chew gum. Another one of our charts was, should kids have extra recess? And a pro was, you could get more exercise, but a con was, you can have more chance of getting hurt. And our last chart was, should kids have chores? One pro was, things can get done faster, but a con was, that kids would be bored. <laughs> then. We wrote persuasive letters to people in our school to change the rules. Like I wrote a letter to Miss Moore that I said I strongly disagree that kids should be allowed to chew gum in school. After that, we studied articles about the pros and cons of having pets, which was our topic that everyone was going to publish a piece about. Now my friend John is going to read his published piece about not having a pet. Not having a pet, very important. <laughs> Black, the son of parents will support that. <laughs> no, I don't think kids should have pets. Here are some reasons why kids should not have pets. Here's why. First of all, kids can be busy all day long. For example, after school, kids have some sorts of activity, like eating your snack, doing your homework, and after that, you might go to a friend's house and then go to sleep. Also, kids can be out of the house to go to sports practice right after school. Kids might not be home or have the time to take care of their pets. That is my first reason why I think kids should not have pets. Next reason is very important. It is when you leave town. For instance, when you leave town, you always have to call your relatives to take care of your pet. To demonstrate that reason, it can be a lot of work for friends or relatives, especially when you are out for a week or two. Your pet may miss you or spread destruction in your home. That is my second reason why I think kids should not have pets. Lastly, pets can cause injury to others like your friend, relative, or sibling. For example, pets can bite you, so you have to be very careful because pets can suddenly jump up to you and bite your hands or legs or any other part of your body. This can be dangerous and cause injury. Specifically, sometimes cats or dogs scratch or bite you and then you get hurt. So when you see a dog or a cat or any other animal, don't play with it and try to scare it away, or else you can get an injury. That is my last reason why I think kids should not, have, not get pets. So in conclusion, I strongly believe that kids should not have pets. Written by John Kim. I'm Brittany, and we're from Mrs. Kupperman's fourth grade class. You can laugh I'm older than you. And we're from Mrs. Kupperman's fourth grade class. So we're going to teach you about persuasive writing. First, we read an article about video gaming, about if kids should or should not game. So, first we chose our stance, which is if you think that you should or you should, should not So then we found evidence in the article and wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> After we did our pre persuasive writing, we decided to have a debate. We divided up into two different sides. One side said that gaming is bad, and the other said that gaming is good. Then it was time for a face-off. What I learned is that your argument has to be very strong. 